Hello and welcome or welcome back. It's been a long time since I did a genre spotlight video, but today we're going to be talking about historical fiction. So on the surface, what historical fiction is seems pretty straightforward. It's fiction that takes place in the past. But that can actually get a little bit complicated. How far in the past does it have to take place? For instance, would a present-day book set in the 90s be historical fiction? What about the 80s? The 70s? Where do you draw the line? It's generally understood that works that take place in a historical time period but that were written in that same time period are not historical fiction. So, for instance, the works of Charles Dickens or Jane Austen take place in the 19th century, but they were written by 19th century authors and they took place in the present day at the time. So then it might be tempting to say that it's all relative to the lifetime of the author, and that if the author lived through the time period that they're writing about, then it's contemporary, it's not historical. But then that brings up the question of, like, what if the author is very young or very old, and wouldn't the time frame that would be considered historical fiction be different then, depending on who wrote the novel? For instance, if I, who was born in the 90s, were to write a book set in the 80s, would that be historical fiction? Would it be historical fiction if it was written by someone who was born in the 70s? You see how it gets complicated. One guideline that I've come across several times that I think makes sense is that it takes place at least 50 years in the past. However, the boundaries between historical and contemporary fiction are extremely blurry, and that's just one potential way of dividing it up. Historical fiction has pretty much always been around since the ancient world, but the further back you go, the blurrier the boundaries between myth and legend versus historical fact or what was believed to be historical fact become. For example, the stories from the Middle Ages about King Arthur were highly fictionalized, but they were believed to be based on a real British king. The genre of historical fiction as we know it now began in the 19th century with works like Ivanhoe by Sir Walter Scott and War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Historical fiction is a genre that blends very well with other genres, and I think this makes sense because basically it being historical fiction describes the setting, but it doesn't have any strong implications for the plot. Whereas other genres like mystery or romance, for instance, have stronger implications for the plot but can take place in pretty much any setting. So it's not uncommon to find historical romance novels or historical mysteries that combine the plot elements of one genre with the historical elements of another to create their own subgenre. It's also a genre that has a lot of crossover with speculative fiction, which I think also makes sense when you think about it. In addition to historical fantasy novels that take place in the past in the real world but have some kind of an element of magic or fantasy to them, there are also time travel stories that involve some kind of speculative fiction elements, either advanced future technology or magic to allow for the time travel, but involve multiple timelines and there's often one in the past. That might not always be the case, particularly in science fiction it might be the present day and the distant future, but if it does involve both time travel and a timeline that takes place in the past, then it's definitely going to involve elements of both fantasy or science fiction and historical fiction. Another closely related genre is alternate history. While historical fiction imagines fictional stories taking place in the real past, alternate history envisions what might happen if the past went differently if important turning points in the past didn't happen quite the way that they did in the real world. And then there's the relatively new genre of steampunk, which is part fantasy, part alternate history, and imagines a world involving advanced steam-powered technology based on basically Victorian England. I'm not all that familiar with the steampunk genre, although I did a little bit of research on it when I was preparing for this video. It sounds to me like one of the differences between steampunk and historical fiction set in the Victorian era is that instead of aiming for historical accuracy, steampunk tends to be more imaginative and loosely based on the Victorian aesthetic, but really incorporating a lot of aspects of alternate history and fantasy or science fiction into the mix. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If you liked this and you'd like to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday.